human resource management it is also called as uh, people management because in the earlier days we used to concentrate on only hiring and the compensation issues of the people so mudlala in personal management the focus was only recruit the employees and give a salary that is a personal management but after 90s the important era started that is the hrm human resource management so they realized people are not liability actually they are the assets so company should invest lot of time and money in managing this human resources so that is how human resource management started uh, uh, that particular importance in india and it is a process of acquiring training appraising and compensating employees and attending to their labor relations healthy safety and there are so many welfare measures so all together can be called as human resource management so it is how well you are going to acquire the people that means identify who is the right person for the right job and after hiring give a training program after training just evaluate their performance then based on the performance give a compensation and if at all is there any if there is any uh, misunderstanding difference of opinion between the employee and employers bring a good relationship between the employees and employers and employee safety aspects all these things will come under human resource management and earlier this i already have told you it was a personal management the specialization was focus on only hiring and developing the employees but after that the people are not just should be managed also should be developed that's how the human resource development also uh, came into existence so what is the reason for studying human resource management to help the company to reach its goal so nimma company other one objective na achieve madodakke hr department irle beku because hr department is going to give you a right path to achieve your goal and to employ the skills and abilities of the workforce efficiently okay so nimalli thumba jana employees irthare and they are all really skillful and knowledgeable but if you don't have a, a good hr department you are not able to utilize their skills and knowledge in an effective way so there is another objective of hrm that means after hiring the people new employees na ishtu chanagi our skills our kaushalyate matta our gnana na our abilities na use martira to achieve the company objective is very important and to provide the company with well trained and well motivated employees and ultimately you need to motivate the employees so employees na uh you should you should ensure that the employees will remain stay in the organization that means they should not uh, quit the company the employee retention is very much important so the major objective is you need to uh, increase the employee retention and decrease the employee attrition so attrition is number of employees are leaving the organization within a uh, particular period of time so should make uh, should motivate the employees to stay back in the organization and to increase the fullest employees job satisfaction okay if employees are staying in the organization they should feel a working environment as their uh, homely environment so we need to create such a uh, positive welfare measures and create the job satisfaction for the employees that's another objective of hrm and uh, should maintain the good quality of work life and communicate the policies to employees time to time there is another responsibility and objectives of hr department if it all you need to bring any changes in policies procedure hr regulations that has to be communicated to all the employees and not only communicating you need to convince the employees to accept your hr regulations that is very important otherwise again employees will go on strike or they may not support your any new uh, strategies of hr so hr policies not only communicating convincing to your employees is very important and that is the objective of hr and to be ethically and socially responsive to the need of the society so end of the day you should also see that hr department how well your company is going to contribute for the uh, betterment of the society for the uplift, upliftment of the uh, poor section in the society okay the society development is also equally important objective of hrm 
and then why it is important of course it is important for the enterprise level okay to get your company to reach greater heights to take your company to next level okay to create lot of challenging roles okay you need to have a in the importance of hrm and individual level of course if hr department is there you will be continuously learning acquiring new skills uh, enriching your knowledge and exploring some new opportunities and uh, that's going to stimulate your commitment and for the society is also very much important for the already i have told you it is very important as a part of uh, corporate social responsibilities and uh, what are the characteristics of hrm it is pervasive in nature that means wherever you go hr department is a must it may be uh, government organizations private or ngo or in india or in abroad or any country you take hr department must be there so it is pervasive there is a characteristics of hr and it is always action oriented hr is not just framing the policies okay just plan madodu ashte alla hr department is also going to take some action how to execute the plan that's the nature of hrm and hrm is always people oriented because hsra le ide human resource management it's all about the people people oriented approach so what best can you able to give for the uh, welfare of the people and hrm is always future oriented because uh, what next year after 5 years where your company should be so that is a vision of hr department always or in case suddenly some employees quit the com- job at the end of this year so what is the plan for the next year the future orientation is important and hrm is also a development oriented so how will can you able to develop your employees potentialities and bringing lot of uh, interdisciplinary functions that means uh, job rotation you can make your employees to learn a different domain because that multiple intelligence you need to create for your employees and hrm is always a continuous fun- function okay you cannot say it's only the uh, during a present time hr department is important or during a recruitment time hr department is important it's not like that so any time hr department is always will be continuously working uh, for the uh, success of the organization and there are different uh, phases of uh, develop uh, hrm uh, models and its uh, development the early stages of uh, hrm and the welfare phase developmental phase so it's all you know a step by step order as i've told you so it started initially just uh, treating the employees as a uh, workers but now today uh, we are uh, giving lot of welfare facilities for the employees that is the welfare phase and development phase so not only hiring the people in this 5 years in this 10 years how well you can you able to develop the employee potential this their skills and their knowledge how can you make the employees more uh, knowledgeable employees and how can you convert your organization to knowledgeable organization so the result is all about the important phase of hrm and uh, hrm and the lean managers how the relationship between these two people are very much important and list of competencies for hrm hr people get what type of competencies they must have okay one is a uh, personal credibility that is very much important and change management okay because new company le ene ondu badalavane tarbeku andre it is possible only through your hr department okay so you need to create a proper structure proper uh, uh, strategy to bring any changes and to execute effective changes in the organization and hr department must have that competency that means how can you bring any changes in the organization how can you convince your employees to accept your new role and managing culture is also important competencies of hr okay whatever the core values of your organization that must be managed very well by the hr department so time to time you need to celebrate a lot of you know celebrations you need to do so to support your culture you need to you know educate create awareness to your employees about your cultural attributes and delivering your hr practices and your business knowledge so these competencies are very much important and personal drive and effectiveness and your leadership skills and your professional competencies 
and adding value through people so how can you use the people to create value to your organization that uh, competency is very much important if you know this employee is very good in one particular area how can you make use of that employee on the different occasions that's important and your strategic capabilities and your customer focus and your interpersonal skill and continuous learning is also important competency for the hr hr should keep on updating uh, what are the new best practices are taking place in the industry today and that has to be adopted in your organization so those are the all about uh, the different competencies you need to adopt and kind of value creation so consulting a model and uh, you are increasing the line managers capabilities so your the relationship management is also equally important and uh, hrp human resource planning so it's all about the forecasting of companies personal needs personal in the sense it is p e r s o n n e l that means the hr needs people requirement okay so next six months ke in the estrogen employees namak beku after one year if i get a new project what kind of people i need okay what is an what number of people i need okay so a lot of planning should be there uh, which comes under hrp human resource planning and that's very important because uh, employees should not be uh, excess also it's a burden for the company and there should not be shortage of employees that's going to affect your uh, operations and productions so you need to have the right uh, type of people at the right time for the right job so that is all about your hrp human resource planning so you need to forecast okay uh, approximately you need to predict you should be able to come out with a proper figure yes i need this number of people okay for the next 6 uh, months or one year so that is very important in your uh, human resource planning and estimate human uh, resources and you need to monitor the what may be the approximate cost okay and predicting the future cost so a lot of you know aspect will be considered in human resource planning why it is important because to talent acquisition your human resource planning is important okay you need to identify the employee's best talent you need to acquire the right talented people and career development plans expand or contract you need to cut down the cost and succession planning okay that is also important that already i have told you many times in the class succession planning where you are going to prepare your existing employee to meet the requirement of the future position okay akasmat sadan agi naale hr in any particular team leader or any important designation employee iddakiddange kelsa bitre so what next okay you, you, you sometimes you don't have you know sufficient time okay to identify to give a advertisement or to conduct the interview and after interview you select the candidate they will take a lot of time to adjust with culture there are a lot of uh, risk is involved so idanna that you the company will go for succession planning that means present employees ne they will be preparing for the future requirement our team nalle yaro obruge leader ago capabilities irutte avurge ivagindane training kodak shuru maartare so nalle sadanna ge yaro obru team leader ro yavara important position uru kelsa bitru kuda that's not going to affect your production or any operation procedure because your existing employee is already ready to occupy that position that's called succession planning and your uh, uh, factors affecting human resource planning so when we talk about human resource planning what factors your uh, strategies are important okay whether you have short term strategy a long term strategy and your human resource policies your job analysis because you need to analyze the job what kind of people you require so then only you can able to recruit the candidates okay you cannot recruit any blindly any candidate and you cannot take the risk understand and analyze your job analysis is important and sometimes external factors like your government policies sometimes government says you know give a 5% reservation to uh, localites or give a 10% reservation to kannada medium or local medium candidates give a 10% reservation to some backward category so any any such type of policies made by government also is going to affect your human resource of planning and sometimes the technology which is going to uh, take place and how to forecast you can use the managerial judgment okay you can bring some great experts and you can ask them to predict based on your previous 
uh, you know last five years data you can analyze and based on that it's called you know trend analysis okay uh, based on that you can predict uh, what kind of people are required for the next another one year delphi technique you can bring some experts or you know uh, people analysis experts you can take their opinion and they are going to you know help you what kind of people you require and how many people you require so that's how we need to have a proper forecasting of the uh, people and effective human resource planning is always depending upon your uh, a proper strategy and your capabilities because financial also should be very good to acquire a right talenting people and uh, uh, there are uh, some issues also uh, problems in human resource planning because always there is a time frame and your integrity also matters and uh, what kind of people you are going to estimation is always an estimation okay it's not the actual uh, determination so always there will be a, a gap between the actual and your estimation okay so sometimes you need to take such kind of uh, risk and you need to go for a job analysis there is you know uh, you you're going to analyze the job in depth so the process is first you analyze the organization that means the various jobs in the company and selection of representative positions to be analyzed different jobs will be analyzed and collect the data about the job then prepare job description okay you need to prepare identify the duties and responsibilities and operations for the job for each job there are some descriptions and job specification so description is uh, it's going to describe the uh, uh, what do you call uh, it's all about the job okay it's going to describe all about the job but specification is specifically it's going to mention what kind of skill is required to perform the job so understand the specification and description and then you're going to prepare the job analysis report for example you can go to google and just mention jd job description for a sales manager position job description for a team leader position if you just mention it will give you some characteristics so that's how we are going to create the job description and recruitment there is a recruitment and selection process the process of searching for the prospective candidates okay for example you give a tv advertisement or newspaper advertisements okay you you are going to create some awareness for the people to apply or you are going to stimulate the people to apply for the job that's all about your recruitment and the objective is you need to again you know right type of people at the right time for the right job is very much important and factors influencing recruitment your policy of the recruitment your size of the company whether you are into a small company or big company and your budget financial capabilities so a lot of things are going to matter in the recruitment and it is process the screening searching screening and evaluation control and your uh, the sources of uh, recruitment okay so there are internal sources and external sources within the organization through references to retired people okay and external sources like job uh, web portals or e recruiting and some job uh, consultancies and sometimes walk ins okay and campus recruitment employment exchange uh, there are some uh, trade associations professional association also comes under the external sources of recruitment so employees now you can recruit either through internal or external sources and uh, the kind of procedure you are going to follow in the selection process first is application blank will give some application you ask the candidate to fill the application then uh, consultancy will conduct some preliminary interview okay this is just a uh, just to check your confidence communication that's called preliminary interview they're not going to ask any in depth question only whether uh, because if there are 100 people i cannot send all 100 people uh, to meet the hr hr is especially in very reputed companies hr is a very busiest person okay i cannot send all 100 people to meet the hr for the interview so what i will do uh, hr associates or assistant hr they are going to conduct the preliminary interview just to check your confidence and communication and qualification and then they are going to send you for the uh, final round to the to the main hr okay that's how you conduct the preliminary interview and uh, you conduct some aptitude test and some kind of you know different types of job test background verification medical examination then hiring decision so different companies follow a different types of uh, selection procedure but generally they follow this process and there are different types of test personality test aptitude test interest test 
so preparations your interview preparations before the interview what preparations you need to have and on the day of the interview and after the interview how are you going to thank your interviewer uh, by sending the email or any type of you know uh, positive gestures is going to add value to your uh, uh the credibility uh, during the interview process and your joining formalities and uh, how the application tracking system uh, using ms excel and what are the uh, learning theories you are going to acquire so learning and uh, development okay so learning is a continuous process of acquiring new skills and knowledge so training need assessment okay because when you want to conduct some training program by blind you should not uh, conduct the training you need to understand the need assessment why this training is important at this point of time that you need to ask that question or what type of training is required so for that you need to first look at your performance appraisal report and look at where employees are you know lacking in, in different areas where uh, there is a deficiency with respect to their skills and knowledge or their attitude Uh, prepare a thorough report then based on that you can schedule what type of training is required and uh, you may need to make your role analysis and person analysis whether company is ready to give you a proper sufficient resources to conduct this and training methods what kind of training you need to give whether on the job or off the job on the job is along with the job the trainee is going to acquire the new skills and knowledge and off the job the trainee is away from the workplace for example a classroom lecture whether it's off the job training but uh, your coaching mentoring is you are uh, learning as well as you are also working that is called on the job training so there are different methods that you can uh, study in the notes whatever i have given and uh, the training methods after training you need to give a performance appraisal so you are going to evaluate the employee performances their expectations and uh, what parameters you are going to follow to evaluate the appraisal why it is important because if you don't appraise the performance if both uh, you know what do you call donkey and horse is same so people get demotivated there should be some differentiation between performers and non performers okay so that is possible only if you have an effective performance appraisal system okay and of course there are some errors also in performance appraisal like halo effect or Uh, leniency giving you know good rating to everybody giving low rating to everybody or a central tendency giving just middle middle you know uh, average to everybody okay or recency of events so recently they have performed very well so you give more rating recently employee have done some mistake so you are going to give less rating so like this there are sometimes personal bias so these are the Uh, negative things we can uh, you know generally identify with a, a performance appraisal and there are so many methods also okay traditional and modern methods checklist ranking method and critical incident group appraisal 360 degree appraisal your balance code assessment center behavioral anchor rating skills will come in your performance appraisal uh, uh, different methods and uh, uh, there are uh, uh, modern methods also so which method you would like to suggest why this is important is sometimes when they, when they give some case study they ask you to suggest some good appraisal method so that time you need to have a proper idea what type of method is useful for uh, uh, which scenario and your compensation okay your basic pay your augmented pay and your indirect pay so total compensation what are the aspects in your va- variable pay fixed pay okay so uh have a complete idea about what benefits company is going to give you your time off perks benefits retirement benefits health care or uh, what are the benefits company is going to give you have a proper thorough idea about uh, all the uh, facilities given by the organizations and theories of compensation your equity theory giving equal and expectancy theory and agency theory so theories of compensation so making compensation benefits in a very effective manner there are different uh, industry relations okay industry relation is already i have told you it is a, a good relationship between employee and employers okay so how can you bring this with a proper communication proper uh, kind of you know negotiation so that is going to help you to bring this proper industrial relations ir we call it as different approaches
and HR innovation is you're going to bring any new practices, new, new procedure, policies, practices, that innovation process. So how this innovation will take place through your concepts of ideas. First, you conceive the idea and you give a proposal to management. They will agree and you take a right decision and you implement that. That's how the innovation will take place. And the future HRM is very, very dynamic because every day there are new practices, new changes and employees are going to learn all the time. There is a future of HRM. So employees making employees knowledgeable and talent acquisition. Okay. And you're going to bring a new way of appraisal techniques. Okay. Some, some better way of appraisal techniques you're going to innovate in digital HR using technology, using data oriented HR practices, HRIS. Human Resource Information System. So these are all a small overview of your you know, HR and Human Resource Management. So practically just uh, have some idea about how to prepare a job description for any role. Okay, for example, team leader role, prepare a job description. Okay, just have an idea how to you know what comes in your job description and job specification and salary slip, performance appraisal form. Just have an, uh, you know, just some idea about uh, these are some practical, you know, uh, questions or which might come in your uh, case study analysis also. So HRM is not at all a difficult subject. It's actually a very easiest subject compared to all other subject. So don't worry, even though it is a new syllabus, it's not going to be very difficult for you. And I'm very much sure you're all going to do very well. I wish you all the very best. And uh, I'm sure you're going to come out with the flying colors from this uh, first examination. Thank you. Have a good day.